Hi everybody, KT here from the No Garage Garage once again, out in the elements. Uh, it's supposed to be nice and sunny and warm today. Doesn't look like it's getting there yet. It's nice and uh, foggy as you can know. Fog is just, yeah, it's foggy. Not bad, but still. Uh, wanted to do a short video. Haven't checked in with you guys in a couple of weeks, I think. Haven't uploaded anything in a couple of weeks. I uh, was up looking at my old 73 to see if there's any scavengeable parts off of it. I have been using some trim screws and that kind of thing. Uh, bought this car. This is a donor car for my, um, this is a donor car for my uh, 71. Way over there. Um, got a 350 out of it and a transmission. And this is what's wrong with it here. But, oh, got uh, T-boned. So I've been using it here and there for little screws and parts and fasteners and such and I was looking at the trim and I figured I would do a quick how-to on windshield trim if nobody's out there or if anybody's out there and hasn't removed uh, windshield trim yet uh, front window back window doesn't matter either or this is for 70s early 70s I'm not sure how late how long it goes through but I've got a 69 and a 71 and a 73 they're all the same so I uh, just wanted to have a quite I've seen <laughs> some some uh, stuff on sale for e at, on eBay uh, that's in pretty bad shape and you can tell whoever took, removed it from the car didn't know what they were doing so I just want to do a quick how to remove the windshield trim or glass trim front and back on an early model 70 Chevy when I get the, when I get finished pulling the trim off here I'll show you uh, the clips and how they attach so it'll make more sense um, what I've got here is just a little little pick set I know it's orange but it's don't know who this is made by. This is a little five, five, five dollar Chinese thing. I bought it a swap meet. Um, so anyhow, the one I've got is a is basically a right angle pick. Um, you can uh, use pretty much anything that's got. It's really th not to be really thin. You could probably use a straight pick like this, a uh, straight awl, or even a hook awl. But the trick is, is you want to get inside the clips. The way they work is they don't clip on the whole width of the trim. They just clip on the outside edge. So. Without further ado, what I do is typically get something just high enough to where I can raise the trim on the outside. Now this is a screwdriver that I modified for um, my uh, for my door seals when I replaced the door seals on that 71. I took them off some off of some uh, 72 doors that I had. The door seals. I bought the doors and the door seals are still in good shape. So I modified this screwdriver. It was actually broken at an angle. I got my I got my cutter. Let me see if I can zoom in here. I got my cutter and. Um, focus there we go got my cutter and cut a slot in the middle and then put it on the grinder flatten it out nice and sharp and then used a flat file to smooth off the rough edges so I didn't tear up my door seals because I removed them off of one door and put them on the other so this is nice and flat nice and thin you can use a plastic wedge but anyhow you want to get under the window trim under the windshield trim carefully find out where the first clip is and I can see the first clip is right here so what you want to do is you want to take your all go all the way to the back side of the trim and you want to grab you want to grab the clip behind it so once you get that clip once you get your tool behind it let me grab the camera here once you get your tool behind it you want to pull outward pull this way because the clip is actually grabbing under the trim here the clip is actually grabbing under the trim and it's holding on this outside edge so what you want to do is you want to pull that clip this way so it'll release I'm going to try to do this with one hand. There we go. So there's one. And that piece is now loose. Trim's coming up. Then you'll go in and you'll find your next trim piece. Or your next wedge clip or whatever they're called. Windshield clip. Raise your trim. I can see it's right here. Grab it and pull it. Boink. There's the next one. Sound effects. I got too high here. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit too high. Um, and just keep doing that, working your way up. Uh, going up to the next one, here. You can see it's right back here. Grab hold of it, pop it, and we're off all the way up. Pull it off the corner and there we go. And here are the trim clips. As you can see, when you put the tool under the trim from this side here you're actually coming and you're grabbing that just like that and then you're pulling it in this direction here it's 
clips are pretty powerful. They're pretty strong. Um, so you have to give it quite a quite a bit of a tug. And then right here on the end, that little button right there is what actually grabs the um, the windshield trim. This little button right here. That is what's actually holding your trim. Um, but just whenever, like I say, whenever you're ready to get in there, get it hooked, pop it out, and then in reverse order. Stuff is really easy putting back on. So be careful with it. You know, just take your time. Um, they are easily damaged. It's very thin aluminum or stainless or whatever. I'm trying to get this corner piece on up here and it's not behaving. It's kind of hard to do one handed. Ah. <laughs> Edit. I'll cut this out. All right. Anyhow, once you pause, poof, and the magic of TV, it's on. Okay, get it squeezed up all the way on there. And this is the fun part. This means everything's going back together. Clip, 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 and you're done. So hopefully that helps out. If anybody's ever tried to remove windshield trim, what had not much luck in it. Uh, and if anybody needs to know, they'll do this before they damage their original stuff. All right, take it easy. I'll be checking in later on today when the sun clears up and or when the sun comes out hopefully and this mess clears up. Um, I'll be able to get some real stuff done without having to worry about whether it's going to rain on me or not. We'll talk to you soon. Adios.